everybody this is Jen welcome to my channel today I'm going to be discussing the reasons why I do not recommend using plastic bins for winter sewing right here on Garden Jen's Journey So welcome back to my channel for another winter sewing how-to video. I just wanted to put out there that I've been doing winter sewing for over six years now. This will be my seventh year. So I've been I have experimented with some different ways of winter sewing, um, and I have found what works and what doesn't work so well. And so I'm going to be sharing my experience with you. You are, of course, fit, free to winter sew however you would like based on other people's opinions. I'm just sharing with you today what I have found works and doesn't work at all um, in my experience with winter sewing. There are some videos out there that show that for winter sewing, if you would like, you can use these giant bins. And uh, they look like they'd be a great thing to winter sew uh, with because it's, uh, you can fit a lot more seeds in here than you can in a jug like this. And uh, I will tell you, I have tried using bins but there are some problems with using these and I'd like to discuss those today. Now again, some people have had success with uh, using the bins, but I have not. And I'm going to explain to you what some of the drawbacks are that I have found and others uh, that I've talked with have found with using bins. Number one, these things uh, cost a lot of money. Um, I think this one costs like uh, seven, eight dollars or so for one of these. Um, depends on if you can get them on sale or not. Milk jugs, they are free. So right there you have the, the, you have the cost issue. Secondly, you have weight. Once you fill the bins up with soil, you're not going to be able to move these things. And so, especially if you're in a warmer climate and you need to get your seeds out, uh, out of the sun because it's too hot, you're not going to be able to move this thing. It's going to be too heavy. And by the time that this has been sitting in the sun for a while, it's going to be very brittle and shatter on you. Whereas these milk jugs, they're very lightweight, very easy to uh, move, and most milk jugs are quite sturdy and will last at least a season, if not two, before they are brittle and fall apart. So that's the second reason. Third, trying to keep this big old bin at a consistent temperature and moisture um, is kind of hard to do. Um, this this will hold a lot of heat but at the time too much heat because you're not going to be able to vent it adequately or if you do you lose a lot of heat if you think about uh, things in your home that you're trying to keep heat in when using like a crock pot or an oven or even a food dehydrator, something that needs to stay at a consistent temperature, if you're constantly opening, opening the door, uh, you're losing a lot of that temperature, and then the machine has to work that much harder to get that temperature back up to where it needs to be. The same with these. I have found that uh, with using these uh, bins, that I'll have to open it either to vent it or to uh, add water to it, um, which is another thing I'll talk about in a minute. But I have to open this a lot to try to remedy the other issues. And so by constantly opening it, 
it is not able to maintain a consistent temperature or moisture level. Whereas if you leave the milk jugs out there, um, they're sealed. So everything is contained in here. And if you have to add some water because it's drying out, um, you can easily just uh, put some water in here or even set this in a tray and it will wick up moisture from the bottom. So you're not opening this container and losing that valuable heat. Speaking of heat, I have to put my gloves back on. It's like 10 degrees out here right now. <laughs> so the next thing is um, just the uh, consistency in moisture. I have found through use, and I'll put a link up here to one of the videos I have that shows a little bit of uh, the bins that I used. Uh, I didn't record a lot at that time when I was using the bins, but I'll at least give you an idea that I did try using the bins. Um, but one of the things you deal with is the inconsistent ability to retain moisture. I found that I either had a uh, well, I had both. I had spots that were too wet and they were starting to get algae on them and spots that were completely dried out. So any seedlings that were trying to grow died because they dried completely out. So in the same bin, there was not the same moisture retention going on. Um, some people use Solo Cups. Some people use Cell Packs. Like I got some back here. Now they use these Cell Packs because they think, oh, this is gonna be easy. I'll just pull them out just like I do, you know, if you were growing them in the cell packs. They don't work because they dry out way too quickly or they mold way too quickly. So it's not, it, ju it just isn't good. <laughs> uh, like I said, some people have been able to do this, but not many. I've heard more and more negative uh, comments and concerns about using bins. Um, another thing is when you go to transplant, trying to get the seedlings out of these large bins is more traumatic because you somehow have to figure out how to scoop in there and dig them out of the bins, which actually does more uh, stress to the roots. With the winter sewing in the jugs, the, these come out really easy. You can really slide the whole root ball out pretty easy. Or if your soil is moist, they come out real easy. And I'll put a link um, to the video I did about how to transplant. I did two videos, one for transplanting into seed flats, like you see behind me, uh, if you're going to up pot them for sale or to give away. But I also did a video about how you can transplant directly from these jugs into the garden. A lot easier with this than trying to do it from a giant uh, plastic bin. Another thing to notate, and like I briefly touched on, is durability. These things hold up really, really well, being out in the full sun for around five to six months. Uh, the bins, they don't. They get really brittle, especially in freezing cold temperatures. If you accidentally tap one, it can shatter on you. And there goes all the seeds and all the time and effort you put into planting that plastic bin. These I've knocked around quite a few times and they just fall over like Humpty Dumpty, but they don't have a great fall and split open. Um, so these are very durable. A lot of people think that they have to worry about these things blowing away. And so they get a big bin. These guys don't move. You put four inches of soil in here and get it wet, these things are heavy. They're not gonna move. And if you plant them in groups, that also helps. I've heard some people say they plant them in groups and on the outside, they'll have all the handles pointing out and they'll run some type of string through all the handles on the outside of the group and it just secures them. I've never had problems with that. I'll post some pictures of what my jug groups look like, either here or here. <laughs> uh, just, but um, these guys don't blow away. They're very stable. And um, I have the best, best success with these. Um, 
when it comes to germination I have better success in these than the plastic bins again in the video that I posted you'll see that a lot of my jugs and I think I did 300 it that year had sprouts inside of them the bins had nothing I actually had to put what was in the bins here in the greenhouse when it was warmer and grow them here in the greenhouse so those bins actually put me behind so it wasn't a good idea at all so I highly highly recommend using milk jugs juice jugs things like that and not the plastic totes or bins I hope I was able to explain it good enough and like I said you can do whatever you want it's your garden I'm just sharing the experience I've had uh, with doing this method for over six years that these work far better than the plastic bins and these are free you're not wasting money if something goes wrong so I hope this video was informative if it was please give it a big thumbs up share this video with other people that you think might enjoy this information and if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel so you can keep updated on more gardening and other videos right here on Garden Jen's Journey. And as always, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Bye-bye.